Morning all. Let's look at some maps. Ain't got time for nothing else this morning. That's not true at all. But let's look at the maps anyway. First up we've got ZMKO Catacombs. I'm not sure what the KO stands for, but ZM would Oh I didn't set up Steam. No matter. It'll be fine. I know ZM is some kind of a zombie mod. <clears throat> zombie server mod, if I recall correctly. Not sure about KO. Knockout would be the logical logical answer. When are you knocking out zombies? That's probably something to do that. Description did not help. What's that floating thing there? I'm not sure that's supposed to be there. Unless it's some zombie thing. Are they known for floating sticks? Morning done. That wasn't worth it. There's certainly something of an atmosphere here. Really neat effect. How'd they do that? just a bunch of layered textures on top of each other. It's pretty interesting for a gold source effect. You don't see something like that too often. Anyway, it won't let me touch it, so... about all of these crawly spaces. I quite like the detail in this map. Like, not so much little details, but big things like these giant floating rocks up there. It's a bit of weird clipping there. Like, combined with the fog, that looks pretty cool. Because it's not quite... Not a definite form. You can tell what it is. But, uh... It's mysterious. Let's go with that. Pets bleed. The pets don't bleed. Who made this map? Didn't check. I see the floating stick for myself. The clipping on this roof is weird. There we go. I don't think this is supposed to be here. Let me change the CTs. Do we appear to spawn in the same spot? I guess a map that's meant for this mod probably doesn't work under normal circumstances. 
Lord knows I don't know how ZM works. That's supposed to be a teleporter or just a weird effect. Isn't this source rubble? Uh, this was... what was this called? Um, ZMKO. I don't know what the KO means. CM I've seen a couple of times and that's zombie mod or zombie master or something like that. But I'm not familiar with the KO. <laughs> the logical assumption is that it's got something to do with punch out and it means a knockout. That's the same teleporter I hit before. It's a fairly nice waterfall as well. That certainly looks a lot more waterfall-y than half the waterfalls you see in Gold Source. It's got some nice layered mist and volume to the water. Nice looking map. I can see why you would have had it. <clears throat> oh, I had muted anyway. Never mind. DE Octagon, which, if I remember correctly, is a broken link. I have a feeling that I looked at this when in a brief period where I thought, maybe I'll do some Map of the Month things. I think this one Map of the Month, but this is after Map of the Month ceased to be, so it just never got recognised as such. And also me doing that never happened, and thank Christ for them, to be honest. Gerudo Fortress. Not a broken link. I gotta say, that is further in Ocarina of Time than I really remember. I don't think I've ever actually gotten that far in the game. Where is it? Oh good, a ward, a sprite, and a BSP all in the same spot. That's cool. What do we want? Ceased, no, not that. Sea strike. Wad. Sprite. Presumably goes in there. Lord knows it doesn't say. And the BSP. If anyone is more familiar with the Gerudo Fortress or whatever the hell it is, feel free to tell me so or not. Because I don't know. I have vague recollections of it. I don't know if maybe ages ago I did get this far in the game or if I was just watching other people at the time. I don't recall. The question I want to know is, is it a direct of sorts copy or is this a half-life version of it? You know, one that actually works in the context of Counter-Strike.
these little cells that you can't actually get into suggest to me that it was more for copying the source material than gameplay reasons. Like, where do I go? Where do the CTs spawn? Why is there light here? I think the music probably goes a long way. Did the CTs spawn in exactly the same place? Or did I go CTs to begin with? That's not like me at all. Go, go, go. I always go terrorists. I think there's a side area over there. It's a little difficult to tell with all the view distance getting in the way. But maybe I should go over there. Take it these textures aren't from aren't from Ocarina of Time though. Why does this area exist? The only answer that immediately jumps to mind is that it's in the actual game and for some reason they thought it would be a good idea to have it. I'm gonna stop playing this map. DM OB Nightmare Church RC2 2013 Half Life 2 Deathmatch Horror Map. You know, a short, a short, straight to the point name. This is, of course, no doubt made by the same person who had that wall we had to break. Evenings, uh, well, not Strider, but also Strider, because I didn't say hello to Strider, but Strider says good morning, because Strider, is, I know where Strider lives, and it's not in the evening over there. Uh, and to my original point, good evening, Abby. That's... BZ2? That's that. Is uh, anyone familiar with BZ2? A zip within a zip, is that what I'm hearing? God damn it, I literally always get this choice wrong. File manager. That's the first time I've ever not gotten it wrong. Hello, Supersonic. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Doing Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. That's what we're doing. How could I forget? I, I very much like the confusion going on in the chat right now. So the name, we can come to expect two things. There's a nightmare and there's a church. Uh, 
And then it's deathmatch. I don't even remember what the rest of the name was. I'm so goddamn convoluted. OB, I'm not sure what OB means, nor RC2. But at least the structure of the name suggests that it'll probably be a little bit weird. Remember that one show? You better. Alright, we've got a jack-o'-lantern, mushrooms, a shell, tombstones on quite a slant. Locks don't go in that direction, and they don't go that fast. I don't think this map's very accurate. I don't know what this map is. Grigori looks very happy about that. Um, the bear's eyes light up. The icon said to gravity gun, grab it, but I'd already turned it over because I was fucking around by that point. <laughs> this is just like those G-Man maps. G-Man maps. <laughs> G-Mod maps. A G-Man map, I'm sure, is something very different. <laughs> like, it, that's what those maps were. Random shit happens occasionally, except there's probably going to be a little bit more... A little bit less wandering around not knowing what the heck we're supposed to be doing. Okay, thanks. The deer's evil now, and... If it didn't trap me in there, what the hell was the point? Imagine trying to fight people on a map like this. Oh, I know what this is. Well, we know how that went last time. These are very explodey watermelons. rather uncouth bleeding on me like that. Oh, Grigori had an accident. Maybe a volume warning, perhaps? I don't know how loud that was, but it sure sounded fairly loud in my headphones. Maybe just, just be aware that things could happen on this map, if you weren't already. Gory. Uh, 
Is that scary, right? Pull you? Why am I, why am I charging up? I don't need that. That wasn't as clear as the last time it said booster. Well, time to do what I must. I hope this is as long as the other one was. Breaking the wall, I hope Pebs is happy. Ultimately, I, bl I still blame Archie because if Archie hadn't insisted that first time, I wouldn't have broken that wall and thus not set a precedent that I would break all of the walls. <laughs> okay, it's just the combat box again. That's very silly. I didn't go this way. You want a battery? I'd stop despawning everything I bring in here. Also, you're in the way. Yeah, sure, why not? I wasn't really paying attention to the jump scare. Those aren't fish, those are skulls. Also, how could you even tell what time it was? The clock was going weird. The dog's very neat, whatever it is. Quite organized. Here, I know how to solve this problem. Just a teleporter. Where's my box? It's so, <laughs> it's so shit trying to get this thing on your head. The other one was exactly the same. Now I can take your ghost. Those, those chandeliers probably aren't. Uh, physics. No, oh, they are physics. I stand corrected. Nothing else is. I just want to see what was down that last path that I didn't go down. There was another path, wasn't there? Over the bridge. Did I go over the bridge? Ask the electric thing. That's what I... Oh, this is just here. I have already been here. Like a monster booster. So 
still, I'm always up for a good chance to get some bouncing crossbow bolts. all out of place. The whole thing is out of place. CS Skylight. I don't think this is missing. I do appreciate that I feel like most of the maps that are externally hosted these days are all, not all, but m largely on Game Banana, which is still up and stable, and it means there's a lot less missing maps these days. It's not always the case, but it's a nice trend, at least. CS Skylight is the name. Poker is the game. Was one of those maps CS SWAT 4? I don't know when I played that, but... Um, I may have an increased appreciation for what it is by this point. I make no guarantees, but I have, I have now played a little bit of SWAT 4. And if that is what it sounds like... Maybe I should open that up again quickly. I I have no memory of CS SWAT 4. But maybe I'd like to refresh that memory. I don't know if that looks good. The map feels very clean. Maybe a little too clean. Like, there's no way some of this sand wouldn't track onto these tiles. There really are a lot of APCs around here too. Arguably more than necessary. Every other Counter-Strike operation only needs one. I don't know what I expected. I'm still living in Nightmare Chat. Of course that's clipped off. Surf Nice Fly 3. It's quite a spread of attributes this map has. It's a surf map. It's nice. And I guess you fly? But you fly in most surf maps from my understanding, so... What are you even saying, Abby? It's 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 just what it sounds like. Apex. It's 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 like Apex, except it's to do with actual pecs. 
It's the apex of pex. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hope you don't mind. Here's me going to not do well at this at all. Again, I've forgotten how to do surf anyway. And now we're doomed. Never. I don't actually need to play the surf map for you to understand what it's about. It is a surf map. And it's in this setting. What more do you need? <laughs> I'm too shit at these maps to actually give a better look at it than that. If you like surf maps, you can probably tell whether you want to play it or not by now. Perhaps can do that in his own time. <clears throat> BB Aquarium Screenshot Maintenance area Labs where zombies were accidentally made Zombie lounge <laughs> Why'd they make a zombie lounge if they didn't mean to make the zombies? It seems like a uh, Bit of a contradiction of intent there. I would have made a regular lounge. And then once the zombies happen. I mean, I wouldn't have made a zombie lounge anyway. Why do they need a lounge? Zombies aren't exactly known for their. Hedonistic qualities or need for relaxation. I gotta figure out how to make it not come up with those configurations every time. Maybe I need to unplug one of these controllers. Well, this is a shitty test lab, isn't it? Coming so close to putting your feet out of the glass there. See, this is, this is the natural progression of things. You start with a straight beam, and you've got a wavy beam with broken glass, and then you've got zombies. That's like, it's like Pokemon. I have no idea what these buttons do. Chillin' view. Buzzin' frog. Right, cameras, of course. Is that the zombie lounge? I don't know why I needed a camera, it's just over there. There's more to the map than that, right? No, no, there really isn't more to the map than that. I'm not sure there's this much to the map. There 
really hasn't been much aquarium in this, has there? The only watery part of it was where that zombie was hanging out. Apparently this is completed. Getting into an unusual level of detail for its kind, but leave some walls just AAA triggered out. Some kind of engineering example by the looks of things. I guess we might as well take anything we can get for gearbox, not gearbox, uh, opposing force maps. As Lord knows there aren't many coming through these doors. Get the feeling we're not going to have much to do this time. Yes, sir. Go on, do the thing. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. I don't have any way to make this funny. I escaped the lab of horrors. Are, are you the horror? Yes, sir. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Glad to have that confirmed. Hammer time mod. I don't know what this is, but the link is broken, so we won't actually get to see what this is. <laughs> 35 HP Scar Dojo. Okay. We're going to the Dojo of Scar. It's not the first 35 HP map we've seen. I don't even remember what the other one was. This scar literally means, how, how we pronounce it, knife arena, because that's way less interesting than a map that's about scar. I don't, I'm, honestly, I'm not even 100% sure what scar is, but I want a map about it, as we all do. Horns, that's all I know about Scar. That's literally all I know about Scar. I don't even know how to how that sentence ends. All I know is the word horns. It does look nice. Is it fun? I don't, I don't know. That's beyond our scope. Right, no actual water in that, I guess. Also, it said 35 HP. That says 5 HP. Those are different numbers. Oh, it's actually just deadly. And now it says 25. This is every number except 35. I mean, that's easy, just don't drink the bleach. Is bleach bad to touch? Bleach is probably bad to touch. I don't know, I haven't had many dealings with it myself. Why am I still playing this map?
Dual dust. Anybody? No. Dust. Except now we have to open up TF2 again and risk the stream completely shitting itself once more. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. It's a risk you're willing to take. I don't want to take it, but I have to. Uh, it's too early this morning. Why is 8.41 so early this morning? It should have made it should have they should have made it later. Why the heck is this in a little window? This would be the first time I've opened TF2 since I changed over the hard drives. So maybe it did not save but a setting the way it was supposed to. That said, I don't mind this. Maybe we could play it like this. But there's no windows. That suggests this is borderless windowed, except it's not the right size. I didn't know you could do that. Can you move around a window like this? There's some, com there's some combination of buttons that you can move windows with without having the bar, but I don't remember what it is. It's like control shift W or something. Don't take my word for that. What if we go run in a window native? That looks right. Let's go with that. Map dual dust. Would, would a fountain that literally ran on bleach, would that be very clean? Here's my knowledge of bleach. It's used to clean stuff. If you literally just had it circulating, I don't, would, would that work? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Bleach, not in my wheelhouse. Put that on the back of the box. Or bleach. The anime. I know more about Bleach the anime than I do about Bleach the actual thing. I don't even like Bleach that much. Either. Scout is falling. This isn't a social call. I've got Shut work. up, you're not supposed to be here. Let's get him. I wish I knew how to get rid of the timer thing at the start. There's no reason to hoik me back. No other players are going to join. Is this the whole map? Because this seems like the whole map. It did say very small dueling map. So why is the texture quality garbage now? Honestly, I'm going to leave it that way just because, who knows, maybe that'll help my computer cope with everything that's going on. So strenuous. I guess this is the whole map. Simple, clean, just like that song. At some point I'll have to do a tech test for the Discord thingy I set up. With intention to use it within this very stream. I made a Discord server with the intention to use it as a sort of drop in, drop out guest segment. Like how I used to have guests before. I, I say used to because I haven't done it in a while. Um, well, this looks like quality. 
passages. At one point, for reasons that I cannot fathom, I decided to write a walkthrough of a game that I am fond of. Still am, but that's beside the point. I don't need to name what it is. And it occurred to me in the process of writing that just how many how much I used the word passage. And it was around then that I realized that maybe I shouldn't be writing this walkthrough. <laughs> You're right, this is the wrong game. What am I doing? I'm glad other people are more on the ball than I am. I'm sure I would have noticed eventually. Why is there a maps folder in the maps folder? I must have copied the wrong, into the wrong place for something at some point because none of this belongs here. Anyway, passages. So yeah, my thinking was have a Discord server and certain verified people would be able to... Uh, I would screen share into... Whoops, I didn't mean to press that. I would screen... Screen. This is that much harder to explain. I should really point out because I'm the one explaining it. And me, words, not the best friends, don't know what I'm talking about half the time, and the other half is gibberish. Uh, passages, that's what I want. My thinking was, anyone could join the server, certain verified people, say people that I would have had as guests before, for example, um, would just be able to jump into that that voice channel whenever they wanted while I'm streaming. I stream, I also, I do screen share into the voice channel so that people can see what is going on, what it's going on. And basically use that in lieu of the more formal setup for... I don't know about this map. Um for having guests that I used to do. And that just makes it, you know, easier to get into, easier to set up. And yeah, I could just do it like that. And then people can jump in whenever they want to or not. This seems like not a great map. Maybe they should have used more than one texture. Oh, sorry, more than two textures. This is an aim map without the name. I don't know, does that seem like that would work? It's something I've been thinking about for a while, but I just... I don't know if it would be a good way to do it. I mean, it's all set up. I could do a tech test for it right now if I was so inclined. And maybe I should, frankly, but... I don't know. DM Cursed Factory. I don't know, more textures wouldn't have helped immensely, but it would have at least given it some visual variety. Even if the map itself is still ultimately of questionable concept. Yeah, that would be a real shitty double whammy if you had a factory that had zombies in it and it was cursed. Providing, of course, that the zombies aren't the curse. Because if the zombies are the cast, then that's still just one thing, but... They're storing giant concrete chevrons.
And giant nothing back here. I can break that glass. I always love having damaged floors, sometimes just involves ripping out tiles, otherwise incredibly neatly, and placing them nearby. And I don't say that too derisively, because I have definitely gone to do that kind of detail before as well. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That is a very neat hole in the roof and it made the Dota logo. I don't I don't really know what the Dota logo looks like. It's something like that, isn't it? Concrete linoleum floors? That doesn't make much sense. How did any of these concrete blocks get put in here? I mean, let, let alone the fact that it's locked and you can't get out, but... It's just straight up this... this is, I bet if I jump down here I won't be able to get out of this room. I stand gratefully corrected. I'm not sure this factory's curse was the kind of curse I was thinking about. It's just kind of... bland. I'm sure if there were zombies around it would seem a little more intimidating, but also it doesn't seem that zombie-like either. It's just a... questionable factory. Well, I tried. CSGO House Cooperative Entry. It says it's for CSGO, but it says Half-Life 2. There definitely existed the non- not listed category before this happened. Anyway. Also that says Half-Life 2, so maybe it is for Half-Life 2. Maybe it was just intended for CSGO and they never got around to actually putting it over there. It says completed though, so it's going in a Half-Life 2. CSU, so yes, house co-op, something for something. Whatever, I've got the information I need. If I did a, if I did the Discord server in that way, that would also make it less of a commitment for anyone who did want to be, be on as guests, because they don't have to set out, you know, such and such amount of time out of their day, out of their time, just to sit here and do this bullshit with me. Uh, CSGO. Will it work? It worked just fine. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Some light map issues. It's just me or is this light really big and really low? Both.
take a look out there soon. Well, here I am. This map doesn't seem completed to me. So, no, no, and also it wasn't see it. Well, it was Half-Life 2, wasn't it? It's named misleadingly. Door example one, apparently. Or CSS? Not the kind of map I would have expected, but what do I know? Are there are two door examples. There are two door examples. What's this for? That one sounds like it actually is for CSGO. Was mapping. Did CSGO use the same mapping tools as CSS? I thought they did something to the engine between those games. I mean, it certainly looks different. I guess that does mean the map files are structured considerably different. Or maybe I'm just misunderstanding what these two maps are about. Didn't want to create a server. Oh, I might as well. Why not? Uh, door. Door, 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 door. Example one. I made a bot. Probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know if it will matter. Wouldn't be surprised if there's only one team. There's no bots, and I appreciate that. I don't know what this was supposed to be an example of, but that's not Captain Terran's fault. CSGO door example. This would be the second global offensive map we've ever done. I don't think there'd be too many. I do appreciate that all of the games, even the more recent ones, still do follow the same rough core functionality. <laughs> And so I know if I type, go in there, get tilled and press and type in map, whatever, it's going to work. But then I suppose CSGO and Portal 2 probably are the most recent Valve games to deal with, aren't they? Even Left 4 Dead 2 was a fair bit before those. Your example is an elimination mission. I would imagine for the most part that I wouldn't be using keyboard too much in the playing of Alex, but I wouldn't be surprised if you went and hit tilt. I said they did conceal the console a little better in the newer games. Sometimes you have to go into the options and turn on the console. Well, that's that's the doors. Oh god, I can't escape. Mm. 
yet there's weird little hints of detail, like this was supposed to be something. I mean, Half-Life 1 didn't used to have the console on by default, did it? Another CSGO map, okay. Are there going to be a lot of these? Oh, good. I've got nothing against CSGO, I just... Rather not be closing and opening it up too much. DE Night Shift. This might well be the first proper map we've done in CSGO. I could say CSGO, couldn't I? Geo doesn't really roll off the tongue quite as well. Does it? <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. And I imagine there's a lot more money in CSGO than there is in TF2. Uh, what are we doing? Map, DE, Night Shift. Wasn't that one of Archie's mods or something? Map, perhaps. I'm sure TF2 does roll in the money, not terribly, but not on the same scale as well as CSGO does. Because, yes, there's a lot of goddamn people playing CSGO. Like, just a mind boggling amount for how old the game is. Okay, give the map a second. I don't know if the stream is suffering. I don't see red on the thing. But uh, the game certainly goddamn is. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Maybe it was doing something. Maybe now it's going to load properly, because I didn't do whatever it just did just then. Okay, now there's... I don't want the bots. Maybe that's all it was doing. Maybe it was just figuring out the bot stuff, because now it seems to be working fine. There's still big old error things, and that's probably not supposed to be there. Can't quite tell where the map is, because there's errors on every side. I can breathe clear now that I'm not breathing in error. What do you think error smells like? I I, I seem I feel like error would smell dusty. difficult to it's difficult to judge the map because I can't see most of it I didn't know that it does the same thing that I don't like in looking at these maps in TF2 and freezing me for ages oh, right sprays don't quite work the same in this as every other game do they
Are these like hint brushes that have gone terribly wrong? No idea where I am. There's bound to be more map around here somewhere. Okay, that's the closet. Jump down here for some reason. Here's the outside. I can see out here. It's great. Well, unlike hint brushes, there is a place to divide up the errors. Rather than dividing up the hints. What do hint brushes divide up again? Leaves. There's no real... It's not really a pun there. Error brushes divide up... Trees? It's the best I've got, and it's pretty bad. I'm gonna stop looking at this map now. Sounds like this was not always an issue. Immersion is never broken and it always feels like a real place. Errors closing in all around you. The industrial base. Is apparently broken. Never mind. DE Dystopia Revisited. Or 1.6? No, no, 1.6, not for 1.6. Where the heck is it? I was I was more compelled to read that read me because it said read me or not. So clearly it works. The advertising got me again. T E Dystopia revisited. What if you woke up and the sky was like a Half-Life skybox with the corners, the visible corners and everything else that a Half-Life skybox has, including the low resolution? The dystopia is it? The story someone will eventually read. In the dystopian city, there lie symbols of ideals and acts which made the city the way it is now. A colorless, soulless ruin with a lifeless population. But a group of people seek to change the societies, spelled wrong view, and bring back what it has forgotten. Freedom! <laughs> That's what society has forgotten. Free domes. Terrorists, destroy the... Opposing forces main building A or destroy the symbol of the city rules presented in the garden B. This counter terror stop the free dome fighters from destroying your main spawn building or the symbol in the garden. I've I've never had a dome. Maybe I I could get a free one. I don't want to know how licensed that music is. I've done a pretty good job of dodging any kind of copyright claims lately on those YouTube videos, and I'd like to keep it that way, ideally.
Is that all spelt right? I'm not sure what the R stands for, but... Dystopian Orchestra, five dollars. That's how much it costs to buy the orchestra. Because it's a dystopia. Oh look, here's my five dollars. I say I've done a pretty good job of dodging copyright claims. But for some reason, the music in Jagged Alliance 2 Half of that music gets copyright claimed like, straight off the bat. And there's no real way to mute that. I did briefly look to see if I could change the music, but I don't know what I would change it to. I could call it a mod and slap some other kind of video game music in there. It would kind of ruin the mood probably, but I would at least get around the issue. <laughs> And not that it really is an issue, but what do copyright claims do? Basically, you know, prevent me from monetizing a video. I'm not monetizing these anyway. I don't get paid. I would if I could, but I don't. Because I can't. I'd like money. I'd like money as much as the next person. Where's the main... I suppose to be CT spawn. Where's the CT spawn? I need to know where the freedom is. Oh, it's here. Oh, never mind. We've seen it. There's something of a style to this map. Like, this is pretty much grayscale except for that exit sign, and that's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of going for a style that you don't really see in many Gold Source maps. Or, or Source maps, for as far as I know. I don't know that the map is structurally so great, but it's it's got something of a theme that I kind of like. Also, it said freedom, and I can't get over that. It didn't just say freedom once, it said freedom twice. That is a consistent misspelling. Which is slightly better than a regular misspelling. Okay, it's, apparently this is for 1.6, but it doesn't really look like 1.6. I guess we'll find out once we're in it. DE Monastery, or Monastery, if you're so inclined. Do they fight in the Freedoms? Do they fight for the Freedoms? Then you get into phrases like free dome fries. Are they fries that look like domes? How would that even work? Little chip bowls. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe you could have the chips with the dip inside. Or sauce or however you take your sit chips. Maybe they could be maybe they could be nachos with everything the nachos have in them. I've completely forgotten the name I was looking for. D.E. Monastery. That's right. You can't spell D.E. Monastery without demon. Atmospheric. Kind of blocky so far. But not out of place. There's just a touch of fog, I think, and I think that's doing a lot for this map. OK. 
cows. We've seen cows before. The last cows I encountered, you shot them and they laid down like they were dead. I don't think these ones are cyclers. Which is probably for the best. Let's assume the doors don't work. I don't know, this map looks okay, but it's a little... A little too... What's the word? What's the word for everything being on right angles? Maybe that's it. It's a little too right angled. It's not a phrase, but it is now. There's a smoke room. I don't really know how things are smoked. Vague recollections of it from foot wrap, flat, flat skull mix, and that's it. That's my... My uh, range of experience. Maybe perpendicular. I don't think it's what I was thinking of, but it'll do. It's all a little too neat. And I can't jump off the ledges, so I hate it. There's no good gameplay justification for it. For letting me jump off, that is. But still, I hate it for not including it. Surplus is next. Sir plus and Sir minus. This isn't a C strike map. It's in there now. Simply called Surplus by Doc Rock. I keep wanting to say that you don't see too many non Mario Doc Rock maps, but they do seem to be a decent handful. Just certainly had a type for a while there. Oh, there's too many maps. Too many maps. There's far too many S Half-Life maps. I'm on Team Robo. The red down there. I'll put a signature on the skybox. I mean, you can, but. I guess you've got to be in a fairly good particular position to be able to see much of it anyway, if that is indeed what it is. It's a little distracting though. I don't even remember picking up a long jump. Maybe it was with me from the start. Maybe the real long jump was the friends we made along the way. This is quite a simple map for Doc Rock, I feel. That's not to say Doc Rock maps are generally incredibly complex, but I don't know. Look, detail of the hinges on those permanently open doors. I feel like that's not something you see too often. It is quite small as well, as stated in the description.
F Y T G P O O L D A Y. I think that's how you pronounce that. Or CSS. A widespread of Counter Strike maps today. Also, we are making steady progress through this vault. One day we're going to run out of TWHL maps, and then what will we do? I'm pretty sure I turned off bots for a reason, but here we go. Oh god, what was it called? F. Again with F. It, had, it was an FY, it had a T, and it's that one. No, I'm not, I'm not doing more of this after PWHL. I may, probably not under the same branding, but I may look at some specific things that I want to check out later on. But it won't be under this umbrella. It won't be under the gimmick of going through the entirety of a archive. I'll just come straight out here. I haven't gone anywhere yet. Now I remember why I turned the bot off. I've been killed by bots like three times in the entirety of this stream's existence, but it's not the point. There's grenades in these pools. I see you over there. Run around without picking up guns. What is this, America? Oh shit. Can you jump? As far as I'm concerned, if the... The springboards in pool maps like this don't bounce you properly, then it is a poor pool map. Also, there's an odd number of pool maps. That wasn't very big. Compo 33 Cloud Factory. This isn't in my list, but I think it was supposed to be. No, wait, I'm thinking of a different map. Floating Island. I thought we already did the Floating Island maps. Don't know. Or CSS, again, apparently. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to press that at all. Hello again. It's time for the whole map vault again. Strap in another hour and a half. I don't think I put that in the right place, did I? I don't know if I put it anywhere. I have now. Apparently, this is literally a factory of clouds. I'm not doing this. Do it yourself. doesn't even have the decency to put in the bot after it does that. 
Sorry, why did that bot just fall out of the sky? I don't think counter-terrorists are set up in this game. Okay, let's go. Or maybe the bots just have the wrong idea. I'm gonna have to kick them. <laughs> I can't have them doing that over and over again. Or maybe I put a bunch of bots on this map and see what happens. Maybe I'll do that once I finish up here. Why can't I go through? Looks impressive. I don't know if it makes any goddamn sense. How's this supposed to help make clouds? God damn it. Come back. I'd really have the lift buttons on the inside of the lift. Maybe that's me. Well, really, you need both. That's why you have buttons that move with the lift. Yeah, maybe you're right, Strider. Uh, climb up where, Pebs? Seeing anything that immediately makes me think climbable. Can I jump on the light? Okay, good. That's all I needed to know. There's something vaguely dreamlike about this. And maybe it's just because of all the clouds. <laughs> this bot add and then an... Wow, what's wrong with the bots? I survived that just fine. I go bot add 19. Okay, no, that doesn't work. I don't know what's happening, but I bet it's not doing anything good for my computer. <laughs> what is happening? Why are they doing this? <laughs> oh god, I've got to stop it. Now, please. <laughs> oh, that was going in a bad direction and I had to get out of there. <laughs> the guns were just piling up. There was literally a pile of guns. Multiple piles of guns. <laughs> anyway, I think that's where we're going to have to leave it. Though that test didn't quite go the way I intended. So yeah, I'm going to bugger off and then we'll be back with some sort our souls because I like dark souls and we're going to play some of that. That's all the reason I need. Bye everyone.